I took seven lunar eclipses and layered them on top of each other. Did you make this? This is so cool. I made this. There was a lunar eclipse over the weekend that you could see from a lot of Asia. You can take a time lapse and sort of place the moon where it was in the sky at different moments. Oh. And it really gives you a sense of like, oh, there's the round there's the shadow. Earth. I mean, it, there's the Earth. That's so cool. Yeah, because obviously the moon is so much smaller than the Earth. It's only going through one part of the shadow at any given time. And that's what's so cool about a solar eclipse is that you actually, you, you could see the right. little moon shadow and we never see that with a lunar eclipse. Why, why, why are they red? Yeah. Oh, sure. Well, actually, that's really fun. If you imagine yourself on the moon as it's going through a lunar eclipse, you know, the Earth would be stationary in the sky since the moon always faces the Earth. And once the sun is completely behind the Earth, the only light that's reaching you has bent through our atmosphere. It's the same as what happens with sunsets. The blue light is getting scattered away and the red light makes it through. So if you were on the moon during a lunar eclipse, you would be seeing every sunrise and sunset that's happening at that moment on Earth. And that's that red light that, that we see on the face of the moon. <laughs> 